Now for the answer to the question that a million people have asked. How are animated cartoons made? Oswald Rabbit is a little fellow who has a big home. This is it, and it takes a lot of people. Each has his own place, beginning with the story department, where editor Walter Lance and his co-workers devise a comic narrative. It's the tale of a ball game in which Tommy Turtle will take a star part, while the villain of the piece is the big gorilla. In batting the ball and running the bases, you can't neglect little Johnny Groundhog. All set with the ideas, so write the script. Gorilla waiting down the plate with that bat. He's swinging it, waiting to swing at the ball. Very oh. determined. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Go knock sure. it for a home run, see? Walter Lance, the creator, begins the picture work with a sketch of Oswald Rabbit and the other characters of the film right here in his casting department. And there are from 40 to 80 independent and completely different scenes in each animated cartoon, and that means a lot of pictures. <laughs> The characters sketch, the job goes to the animators who put in the animation, the motion. Now this is the scene where Oswald's team is losing. The score is 75 to nothing. And Oswald gets worried and he doesn't know what to do. So he gets an idea and uh, he calls over Tommy Turtle, the little catcher. And the turtle comes in, you know, pitter pitter patter, nice little walk on him, you know, not too fast. You keep a nice tempo. About, about an eighth of an inch? Yeah, about an eighth of an inch, space the drawing to an eighth of an inch, you give him two, two exposures each. Okay, little Tommy comes in, so Oswald calls him over close, and he whispers. So little Tommy brightens up and says, Boy, that's swell, Ozzy, but that gag we sure will knock him for a loop. Now, do a good job, will you? Because I'm depending a lot on that scene. It has a lot to do to put the story over. Our hero, Oswald Rabbit, is drawn with suitable expression. Expression is the important part of it. How does the animator get it? Well, he has a mirror in front of him, and he makes grimaces, watching his own face to get the expression that he wants for Oswald. Twelve animators work steadily for three weeks to put the motion into one moving cartoon. It's a long, patient process. So many, many pictures have to be made. He puts in the motion by drawing on transparent paper over a screen of ground glass. The figure is advanced a sixteenth of an inch at a time. That's what makes it move across the scene. The pages are held in register by metal pegs. Run through them hurriedly like this, and you see how Oswald calls Tommy Turtle for a great crisis of action in the coming ball game. Next, each drawing is traced on transparent celluloid. The work is done by a force of 30 girls, good artists, graduates of art schools. The tracing must be done accurately so that the figures will not lose character. The purpose of these celluloid tracings, or cells as they are called, is to enable the figures to be placed in the proper background. Because Oswald and his pals have to be brought out on the ball field. The celluloid is transparent, but the figures must be made opaque. That's done by painting with ink through which light will not pass. Black ink first. So now we're getting an opaque figure on transparent celluloid. All the time the drawings are held in precise position by those accurate register pegs. So you can see the amount of long, painstaking work that goes into one of those comics which flit so smoothly and swiftly across your screen. Scores and scores and scores of figures drawn on paper and then transferred to celluloid. After the black paint comes the white paint, also opaque. Next comes the background artist who works with a watercolor wash and provides the baseball park in which these ball players are going to line out home runs. Here the scenes are made that take the place of sets. Do you see the reason for the opaque figure on the transparent celluloid? It's so that figure can be placed on the scene without the background drawing showing through. All ready for the photographing. The huge stack of celluloids is to be photographed one at a time by an intricate and cunning camera. It's a motion picture camera with stop motion. You can take a separate individual picture every time you push down the lever. The drawings are held flat by a glass lid which has a pressure of 400 pounds. 
and each drawing is photographed several times, some more, some less. The more pictures are snapped of one drawing, the slower the action will be. And it takes some 15,000 drawings in all to make a cartoon that flits by on the screen in a little more than eight minutes. So Oswald is photographed time and again to put him into motion on the film. And then while a metronome keeps the time precise, a composer is writing music. That chap can write melodies and harmonies as rapidly as you and I can sign our names. This is the musical score for the ball game between Oswald and his pals. With editor Lance himself at the Rewinder, the music recorded on a soundtrack is now being matched accurately to the picture. And so he adjusts sound film to picture film, cutting, trimming, and making splices. A motion picture splicer is a machine of refined precision, too. With deft and simple mechanism, it cuts the film, brings the edges together, and clamps them down so that the cement can set. The music and the pictures having been adjusted, there's a tryout on the Moviola. This is an elaborate machine. In it, you can see the picture through a peephole. You see it against a light. It's magnified by a lens. And all the while, the sound is reproduced. Complicated, isn't it? I should say so. The music has been put on the picture, but there still remain the sound effects, baseball sound effects. They're rehearsing them now, just practicing before putting the sound on film. And then there are the voices for the dialogue. That ain't the way to play ball. Cut that out. I'll push you in the bush. That ain't the way to play ball. Cut that out. The final job is in the recording room with the grand ensemble. The picture is run with the music, sound effects, and dialogue all played and recorded on the soundtrack. So as they say in Hollywood, turn them over. Watch the picture closely so that every word, clatter and whoop, is timed to perfection. It has the precision of an orchestra concert. For it's the last act and the biggest act in the making of an animated cartoon. I got the new picture in for the giant, Oliver Ock. Pinch hitter. It's Sandy Centipede. Take a bow, Oswald. <laughs> 